Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skulk, continuing the story of Winds of Change. We were here. Where was this? I forgot. <laughs> Is it? Oh right, we were, we were talking on the boat. make my way back up to my bed and quickly collapse into it. The weight of re recent, recent words. The weight of recent events weighed me down like a ton of bricks. At the end of the day, I didn't know who I could really trust. It's awful. Alorik and Pro, two of our most trusted comrades, had dark secrets. It makes me wonder just what everyone else is hiding, even Valesa and Fortame. When we get back to Mizeo, I need to ensure their loyalty before we attack Volteus. We couldn't embark on the biggest part of our journey with unresolved issues. Everybody needed to be in tip-top shape, not held down by anything at all. As big as Ulrich and Pro secrets were, it's information we didn't have before. Information we could use against our enemy and against Balteus. We were too close to our goal to fall apart due to internal politics. I drift off to sleep and make my way to the deck in the morning. It was time for everybody to know about Sophie. Then, we have a final discussion about what comes next. We were ready to launch our attack, but what should we do? Everybody is standing there, as if they were waiting for me to arrive. They all exchange glances to Sylvie, and unease fills the air. I don't blame them for being reserved right now, not at all. They all turn to face me, so that's when I hand the floor to Sylvie. If he wanted to help us out, he had to win over my entire crew. The choice was with me, but all of their input was important. All of us gather around in a sort of a circle. This means he can easily address all of us. I'm curious what he has to say. A lot is on the line. My name is Sovi. I am, or was, the Grand Inquisitor. I no longer serve the Triumvirate. I was betrayed by my apprentice. He sold me out, forcing my masters to place me in exile. They threw me away. Everything they ever told me was a lie. I thought they were Alestia's rightful rulers. But then I figured out that this wasn't true. The heir to the throne is the monarch. I am a victim of their tyranny. Just as you are. All of you. I hope you understand. I'm still at a loss. I don't really know what to do with myself. But coming here to meet with you and the monarch seemed like a good idea. Last night, I also revealed some information that could help your upcoming attack. I just need to know that I belong somewhere. Attacking the Triumvirate will involve taking down Halen. We share a common purpose. At least until he's taken care of. Hmm. Like the one... Oh, oh you'll, you'll tell him. Okay. After that, I really don't know. I've always pledged my loyalty to the rightful ruler of Alestia. Logic would dictate that I now serve the monarch. But I don't know. That's fair enough. I mean, if you want to serve someone, I don't know. You need choice on that one, but make sure it's for the right purpose, right? I don't know if I am. I'll do my best. The Triumvirate can throw people away at the snap of a finger. 
But I'm not like that. What they did was hurt me almost beyond repair. I will help you attack Balteus and take down Halen. You have my word. All right. But after that, I don't know what will happen. In that sense, I am both an asset and a liability. If you want me to leave, then that's what I'll do. I don't, I don't know yet. When we get to Maseo, you'll never see me again. That is, unless you want my help. I can offer valuable intel. It's a gamble for both you and me. I don't fully trust you either. Yeah, new people, no, new acquaintances. Fair enough. But hopefully I've earned a sliver of trust with the monarch. If he vouches for me, then hopefully you will as well. That is all. My fate is in your hands. I have nothing more to say. Well, he has done, the driver has done lots of rotten things. And he's tricked and fooled many people. Some people are you know. And you are no different. I mean, I've been seeing the future, past, and and in, in, into your into your pres into your presence. I know what you get for Christmas, man. <laughs> you know they they're quite crappy. The triumvirate. He crosses his arms, waiting for a reply. My comrades are all shocked and confused, save for Pro and Ulrich. I ask them to step forward, one by one, and offer their thoughts on this. For once, I have a grasp on an entire situation. This is how things should be. Like Sylvie said, that was the rightful rule. Come on, don't you, don't you put yourself on no high horse now. I couldn't have people being dishonest and plotting behind my back. I honestly didn't expect this, but nothing has been normal lately. I'm willing to give Sylvie a chance. I did the same thing with Grizz. His defection marked a turning point for our cause. A big one. Hmm. If he can help us out, then I think we need to accept it. And if he turns against us, then he's easily outnumbered. The potential benefits outweigh the potential risks. Uh -huh. True, true. But, you know. This is clearly a trap. We request that you deny his assistance. He's alone now, but he won't be. When we arrive in Baltius, if we give him information, he'll turn on us once we get there. Surely we aren't the only one who thinks this way. An alliance with our enemy mere days before our attack. It's too convenient. Sovi is playing us for a fool. Hmm. It is all things are possible. I'm with Hal on this one. We can't work with the enemy. This is the man that killed you and burned down Valinorth in your vision. I know it was a trick, but the man is the same. He's a trained killer. For that reason, I can't accept his offer. Fortum, you're with me, right? I don't know, Valesa. I think everybody deserves a second chance. We all had that moment when we turned against the Triumvirate. Why is it so hard to believe that Sovi might have that moment? He worked so closely with them. He's seen their true nature. He has more knowledge on them than anybody else in our army. It makes sense that he'd come to the same realization as us. I mean, sure, it took a while longer, but that's because he served them. When you remove the excuse of loyalty, it can become pretty clear. That's why he didn't fully realize things until they put him in exile. That is, like, if you are following someone, and I'll just say religion for the sake, not saying which ones, because anyone could be. You can be following them blindly just by liking the first few things that you that they said to bring you in that, with them, and then you'll almost probably blindly wall, uh, follow them wherever they may go. While I was growing up, I was in a religion, and I just felt like, in a way, it was kind of like a big family, a home that I can get around to. Sure, as a kid, you didn't want to do certain things that they asked you to do, uh, but the thing is, as 
if I said anything positive about it, I did feel like it was a big family that I could talk to. I'm not judging the whole religion on individuals, because everyone can be their own thing. But every time I had a question about why is this, why is that, it, why are we doing this one? I don't want to question why we're not why we're doing a nice thing with for someone because it's a nice thing. What's wrong with doing a nice thing? When I asked questions about why for some things, why is this? They just said, just believe, just believe in God, and He has a path for all of us. That's really really vague. Sure, we can just go. Yeah, yeah, we we, we trust His we trust in His judgment, right? Anything crappy happens to us, just happens to us, and he, it's like building character. And true, it can build character. But, to keep this shorter, I didn't have many to any questions answered. So, me, I left the church. Not hating them, just because I wasn't fully sure about what it was that they had, what they were doing. Like, what, not what they were doing. They were doing nice things, but still. Some of the songs, hymns they were singing, I wasn't wanting to sing along with because uh, they were saying, uh, welcome everyone to the church and let everyone live how and where and what they may. I'm like, okay. Let everyone have freedom to choose. And then some of the songs were saying, we will uh, trample the sinners and rise to glory and... Uh, that doesn't sound like what you guys are trying to teach. So I didn't want to sing those songs. There's questions I had, and they were not answered. So, that's mainly my point of why I believe so. You could be following blindly. And feel like they're doing the right thing, right? Sometimes you'll have questions, and you just... Yeah. Hopefully... Even though I, this was a little long, I ramble. But it's my little piece to the uh, story. Yeah, I'm with Fortem. Everybody deserves a second chance. We've all been there before. We've all made a wrong decision or two. And there's no better way to make up for it than doing the right thing. Sylvie isn't concerned with doing the right thing. He's a liar, plain and simple. There's no way we can trust him. He'd turn on us the moment we arrived in Balteas. That's a guarantee. Hmm. Letting him close to us now would only enable him to gather information. If he knows our strategy, he can counter us with the Inquisition when we arrive. It's a death sentence, Monarch. Don't be foolish. We've come too far to risk this. It seems like my comrades are divided. But with good reason. I was hoping for something more... Unanimous in any given in any in any given direction. It was clear that now the pressure and final decision rested on my shoulders. Well, monarch. Deny. No. This is my story, and if things turn bad, yeah, I'm sorry. But I'm a pretty trusting person. Lucky number seven is the achievement. It was a risk that I was willing to take for our cause. The information he could give us, offer us, would make us so much stronger. If we got suspicious, good. I don't know why I said good. Get got good. <laughs> get suspicious with him before the attack, we can easily outnumber him. Very well. He takes a few steps back and rests against the edge of the boat. A few minutes later, after everything is said and done, we arrive in Mausea. Docking process is short, since our pirate allies are masters of the art. Dominic sticks forward, filling in the silence that overtook our ranks. Well, this is it. We're ready to attack Balteus. Everything we've ever wanted is finally within our grasp. The voyage will take a day or two so we can plan on the way. For now, we need to ensure that we leave no stone unturned. 
visit with your loved ones, say your goodbyes, because this is it. Once we leave for Balteus, our fates are as good as sealed. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is go to the war table. His words are true, but fill the air with tension. The dawn of our final battle was here, and we need to prepare. But planning the attack was easy. Our true task was accepting our possible death. This means saying goodbye and spending a final day or two with our enemy. With our friends. <laughs> spending our final day or two with our enemies. <laughs> with our friends. I should use this opportunity to make sure everybody is prepared for the final battle. As the leader, it was my job to ensure that we were all up to the task, no matter what. I don't think there's anything left to say. Finish up your business, and we'll set sail when the monarch demands it. Act under the assumption that you only have one or two days before departure. Mm. I don't want to rush anything as important as a goodbye, but every moment we waste is a moment for our enemy to prepare. I trust that we'll find a happy medium, and embark without regret. Mm -hmm. Everybody nods, agreeing with his words. I can't believe that the time was finally here. Until now, it seemed like a dream. Out of reach. This could still be, like, the longest dream you ever had, man. Fate of Alorinthia. But it's right in front of me. This is it. Our journey was in its final hours. I tense up with worry. We make our way off to the boat. Off the boat, not to the boat. Because we're already on it and we're getting off. Embracing what little time we had left. True morale is ridden by 10%. Loyalty scenes are now available for the six main party members. Howell has a fourth heart to heart that is hidden in one of the previous areas. Loyalty scene has been accessed by clicking the character icon on the war table. Fast travel has now been unlocked along easy navigation through Alestia. A new blue icon has appeared on the top left of areas. Click it to move to the world map. The world map allows for easy navigation between every other, uh, every other map in the game. The world map is also how you will launch your final attack on Baltaeus. Clicking the Baltaeus map icon will give you the choice of entering Act 5. However, it is best to do this only once you are satisfied with the content you've done. Sylvie has now permanently joined your party. The series of Heart to Hearts has been hidden all over less yet. Ha! The love to see has been added. Access, like normal, from the war table. So... I'm gonna have to... Find... Where the heck Sovi is in each one of these. We have two days, and I... <laughs> for logic sense, there would be <laughs> no <laughs> time to go all the way back to the beginning. We got corruption. Alright, siding with Sovi is a, is a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's a chance, but I wanted to give a Pierce person a chance. Anyways. We'll walk it around for a little bit, because we still have like 10 minutes left in this recording. But, it's like we're almost half and half. I mean, right now we are, but what will the last ones be? Two Pures, two Corruption, or one of each? Our morale has not risen much. Alorinthia, Thalinor, Isaiah and Balteus. Alright, I guess we'll just see if we can find Sylvie's things. The village. My house. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay then. Main Street. 
Нет. We found one. We found a half. A Sylvie. Yep. I looked at the water tank, thinking of the vision that started us all. Back then, I thought we can use the water to fight the flames. Little did I know that the entire vision was just a trick to bait us. However, that was the first time I had ever laid eyes on Sylvie. I'll never forget what he did to me. He killed me without hesitation. My mind was reading hesitation as permission. <laughs> he killed me without my permission. <laughs> but is he different now? Or was he ever really like that to begin with? So, this is Valinorth. I've heard stories, but never been. Well, unless you count that vision the Triumvirate tricked you with. I must apologize for that. I knew what was going on, and I played along. It's not like I could have done anything else. Valinorth was too far away. That, and they still had me under their thrall. I was theirs to command. At least I was able to break free. I feel bad for Halen. I truly do. Yeah, you still want to kill him? <laughs> he looks around the town square. It looks like he's enamored by Valinor. Almost as if he's looking for a, a wonder of the world. I need to ask. What did you think of me? The moment we met in that vision, who was I to you? A mindless slave? A killer? Or perhaps a man who was lost? I could say this. I could say this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm over using the romantic side because I'm not a romantist. I want to be as kind as possible. All I ever wanted was to ensure that Alestia's true rulers remained in power. Little did I know the Triumvirate was lying to me all along. You are the true ruler. Now I know why they wanted to kill you so bad. You're a massive threat. Plain and simple. He shakes his head and looks around the town some more. His eyes become fixated on the post office. And he smiles slightly. A post office? I haven't seen one of those in ages. I couldn't travel much when I was younger, so I collected stamps. The drawings of places around Alestia. That was the closest I ever got. Mm. He walked towards it, so I make sure to follow him. This is the first time he's ever mentioned anything about his past. It's hard to imagine that he was anything other than a Grand Inquisitor. But the art never really matches up with the place when you see it in person. I remember collecting the Balteus set and being shocked when I actually got there. It's not really a good or a bad difference. It's just interesting to see how they compare. Why couldn't you travel much as younger? That's pretty cool. I collect some of them too. This will get more into his past. This is just... I guess relating. Let's do that. That's not really something I'd like to talk about right now. Uh, do you mind if I go inside and buy some really quick? It won't take too long, I promise. Just wait for me. Mm -hmm. I nod, and he smiles at me. He runs into the post office and buys some stamps. A look of childlike glee is worn on his face when he returns. Thank you, Monarch. You know what it's like. Sometimes you just need to do something. This is the first time I've truly been free, so I almost couldn't resist. Mm. I'll save these, and perhaps we can write each other after the war. You'll be incredibly busy, so I can't expect to earn a lot of your time. That sounds great. I'd love to write each other. You can have as much of that time as you want, Sylvie. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Really? 
You know, we can't get you a tug. Hot tag. No, no that, that's whatever. Let's play by ear. We might not survive. This is just... Why is this normal? This is... This is negative. This sounds great. Perfect. We'll figure something out when the time comes. For now, I think we have to focus on more important things. Yeah. He looks at the blade on my back and assumes a thinking pose. That's a total thinking pose right there. Hmm. You could use some training, couldn't you? Anything to give you an edge in the upcoming battle. I have years of practice, so I can teach you almost everything. Hmm. We shouldn't stay here too long, though. The schedules and all that. If we start training while we travel, it'll be more efficient in the end. We can't waste too much time before setting sail for Balteus. You say that, which it would make sense if it was actually true, but we have all the time in the game, world, story, thing, world, the world. Because there's supposed to be like five heart-to-hearts to have with you. Maybe six. So we're going to be traveling a lot. Are you sure? Because it takes a day. It, I think they say it takes a day to get to Albarantia and a day back. And it definitely took about a day or two to get to Valinorth. It says we have about one to two days. Yeah, right. <laughs> Unless it's actually true. I did save before this, this happened. I nod. It's true. He could teach me a lot about the blade. I feel like he, he'd be needing... A bit, a bit, I feel like I'd be needing that knowledge in the upcoming days. Perhaps having him join us wasn't a bad idea after all. Say that to the darn corruption! Wonderful. Normally, I'd call you an apprentice at this point. But I'm past that. I need to drop the behavior that the Triumvirate taught me. So, you're not an apprentice to me. You're a friend. And I'll help you. Hmm. We start walking away from town square, and he inspects the stamps. It was crazy how different he seems from now he was before. I'm taken back. But th if this was the new him, and not some sort of facade, he'd be welcomed. Let's see if there's any others in here. The house? Nope, nope, nope. Let's see if I can find the books that I've missed. Not here. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Hey, how about this one? Nope. Alright then. World map. Well, we'll have places to go after this. So, this is before anything happened. And this is now. Gotta remember the time difference. Anyways, we'll have many more things to do before the upcoming and final act, which might be just a few episodes left. Might be. Yeah, it might be. It might be longer. Who knows? The stories can be long dragging. But good way. In a good way. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Sorry, I had to swallow there. And until I see you guys again, have a great day, everyone.